Hi, I'm Francois Gray and here we are at CERN where every summer over 200 summer students from all over the world uh, come to listen to lectures by top physicists and work on individual projects throughout the summer. But since last year we've run something called the CERN Summer Student Web Fest where we're trying to develop other skills where the students work together in teams for 48 hours over a weekend to build a project of their choice which is meant to explain physics in new, fun and exciting ways. CERN uh, prides itself on the enormous creativity of its scientists and engineers. Here we give the students a chance to show their creativity. So most particle physics games have been just 2D but we wanted to do something original and make a full three-dimensional game and also have it be on the CERN site so people can both have fun learning particle physics and be able to see what the the whole collider facility looks like apart from just being you hear a Higgs result but you have no idea what the daily life is like. So we are working on, uh, the project we are working on is uh, the main goal is to connect scientists around the world with uh, computer engineers so that uh, physicists, for example, that need help with uh, computer problems can uh, ask for uh, engineers to, to help them to build the, the application they want so that research can go faster. We have the project Science Resources and we are attacking the problem of scientists being too old-fashioned about their science and not sharing or collaborating even though there are great technological capabilities to do so. So uh, right now we have a collection where people can spread their new projects and it's going to be easier for scientists to find exactly what could help them a great deal to make progress in their field. So we are the antimatter team. And what our project is about is checking if antimatter behaves in the same way as matter. And the interesting thing about our project is we're going to crowdsource this. So the people at home are going to be able to contribute to science. And this is something that's never been done at CERN before. So we're developing this platform at the moment. And you will be able to go to this website and you will actually see pictures of the antimatter going through the detector. We will mark the tracks. We will put it into a 3D model and the scientists can then analyze this data which hasn't actually been looked at before so you could help to contribute and see something entirely new. The idea will have developed, the idea will have changed as you work together, as you pull in your resources, those ideas will have turned into something even better, even more amazing, even more exciting. So you've got a story that you can weave into your pitch. Stories are so powerful. And when your kids, your parents read your stories, throughout history, that's how information was transferred from one generation to another, was through stories. In today's world, software technology moves so quickly that some of the young students are at the cutting edge of what's possible to do with open source software. And they're showing us, through their creativity and their talent, new ways to represent physics in the form of games, in the form of crowdsourcing, and in the form of new visualizations of data about physics.